It is cold outside. Winter is here. Winter is here, but winter's not even here. It is uh, November, near the end of November, and it is so cold out, folks. But you know what? As cold as it is, <coughs> the pro tips never stop. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dax, aka The Model 3 Guy. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Today is Pro Tips Day again. It is Volume 3 this time, Pro Tips Volume 3. And uh, we've got five Pro Tips, just like last week. Let's get to Pro Tips Volume 3. Okay folks, tip number one. This is a quick and easy way, instead of, you know, if you wanna uh, turn on the, the heat or the air conditioning, you go down here to the um, heated section. If it's off and you just touch on it, and everything comes up and it automatically turns on. It's gonna be a little loud. Let's just turn it down so you can hear me. So it turns on and if you wanna turn it off, you press here. But here's a quick, quick way to do this. Instead of bringing up that whole HVAC screen and everything like that, all you do is you put your finger and you hold down here. I'm gonna zoom in on it first. So all you do is you put your finger on that little fan icon there and hold it and you'll see a little thing come around it and it turns on automatically. All you have to do is hold it down for about a second or two. Do it again if you want it off, and it turns off, and it's that simple. Okay guys, tip number two. This is the nav screen, and as you know, you go in here, these are all the previous places that uh, you've put in. As you can see for me, I put these in. If you want to delete these or get these out of the list, two very easy ways to do that. First way is hold your finger down on the actual address, and as you see when you hold it down, a little X, I'll just zoom in here. A little X comes up right here and all you do is click on the X and it gets rid of it. Do it again. If I want to get rid of Tesla Oakville showroom, click on the X. Another easy way to do it is just swipe it away. You can just swipe it away and they'll go away. Okay, tip number three folks, excuse the uh, messiness of the car, it is winter here. Uh, and because it's winter, this charge port may freeze up every now and then. As you can see, I've got the, the J1772 uh, plug here. It charges it just the same as anything with the adapter. But this may freeze up and lock up in some cold climates. So a way to avoid that is you come here to the trunk, you open up the trunk. Like I said, pardon for the mess. And you look down on the left side, right? There's a charge port right here, you look behind it. And when you look behind it, you see that the, there is a grill, like an opening grill here, and this orange part, this is where the charge port is, and right in this section here, there is a little, little lever, not a lever, but a little uh, plastic tab attached to a little piece of aircraft cable right here. I don't know if you can make that out, if, if the shadow is getting it right there, that's it right there. You hold this, you hold on to this, and you pull it down, and when you pull it down towards you, what it does, it releases the charge port. So if it is frozen, you can always get it out. The only problem is, you might get this red light. If this red light shows up, what you're gonna have to do is reboot the MCU. In most occasions, you won't have to reboot the MCU, but if you have to, you just reboot it and it'll come back. But if you just open up the charge port door afterwards, and as you can see, the red light's gone, you plug it in, and after a few seconds of communicating, as you can see, we're back to charging green. Okay, folks, tip number four. And this has to do with the Ride the Lightning podcast. Now, if you're not familiar with the Ride the Lightning podcast, a guy named Ryan McCaffrey, awesome, awesome guy that knows a lot about Tesla, Model S, Model X, Model 3, anything to do with Tesla. If you haven't listened to that podcast before, I don't know what rock you've been under, but you got to check it out. It's on almost any platform you can get these days. Go check it out. Anyways, a few weeks ago, I was listening to it, and uh, one, of the, one of his listeners named Greg brought up a good tip so this is credited out to the the listener on ride the lightning podcast named greg now when you're driving down the street and you're on autopilot like i am in now and it's um in this in this case it's a 60 zone 60 kilometers but say you it speeds up or it slows down and now you're in a completely different speed zone and you're potentially speeding because now maybe it's slowed down but as we know tesla doesn't always get the speed limits correct so it may say you're st still doing 60, but it's now a 30 zone, and you don't want to get a speeding ticket, so you slow down. But what you can do before you slow down, just like if you were to uh, navigate somewhere or do any kind of bug report or talk to talk to the car with this um, little button here to hold in and press the mic. If you press it, the little green mic comes up and everything. All you would have to say, I'm going to turn it off now so I don't actually say it. 
um, and confuse Tesla. But all you'd have to say in that instance when you're in that uh, speed zone that's incorrect is you say bug report, wrong speed limit or something like that. And what that'll do, it'll work like any other kind of bug report. It'll go to Tesla. What it'll, it'll do is it'll record the date, time, and location of where it is, and especially if you say wrong speed limit. And they'll actually, believe it or not, all the little L's of Tesla that are checking out all the bug reports, uh, they won't get to it immediately. No one's saying that. They won't get to it right away. But within a few weeks, they will get to it. And don't be surprised that in a few weeks in the next update or two updates or three updates, um, the speed limit will be corrected. Now, they've got thousands to do. So don't hold your breath that it'll get corrected right, right away. But it will eventually get corrected. And they won't know unless we do this kind of things. Like uh, as, as users, as drivers and owners of these vehicles we have to help out tesla and we have to do uh and we have to let them know about these bug reports so it doesn't hurt to actually when you're in a wrong when, when it's the wrong speed limit and you're in a zone where it shouldn't be and it's saying and it's maybe a, a danger it doesn't hurt just hold down the bug report button say bug report wrong speed limit and you can even say what the speed limit is supposed to be and stuff like that and uh, tesla will get to it that is tip number four Okay, so last and final tip, and this is my favorite tip. This is brought to us by our friend Ryan Wins. He's on the Tesla Model 3 Canadian group on Facebook. As we all know, when using the app, it takes a long time to wake up the car sometimes and turn on. But what we do realize as you look at the screen, the two icons in the very middle, the unlock and the frunk, they seem to light up white pretty quickly and what those are the car is not waking up it's not waiting to connect to the car for those that's actually bluetooth and as long as you're in the right proper close proximity that will come on right away and you don't have to wait for the phone to wake up so that means you can open your front not waiting to, for the car to wake up because as long as you're in bluetooth proximity it'll open up or you can unlock the car from a little distance away as long as you're in bluetooth range this is a pretty cool pro tip because it just means that you don't have to wait for the car to actually wake up because like i said as we know this could take a long long time okay folks that is all my tips for this week that's five tips once again, if you have any tips that you want to share with us that you think may be helpful that I haven't mentioned in the last three volumes. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen volume two and volume one, I'm going to put a link above here somewhere. I always forget where it is. I think it's here. Or it might be here. Anyways, go check out volume one and volume two. If you want to add any tips that you think that may be valuable to users and um, drivers, leave a comment below. Let me know what the tip is. Just like Ryan. And just like the guy Greg from Ride the Lightning, I will give you full credit and I'll give you a nice shout out thanking you for your tips. So leave a comment below if you want to see something or you want to leave a tip or you have any questions or comments or anything like that. Leave a comment below. And um, don't forget, if you haven't, if you're liking this and you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell, folks, and, and you'll be notified when we have the next volume of our Pro Tip series coming out and all the other um, Model 3 videos that I'm putting together. And finally, if this video or any of my videos that you've been watching or if this is your first one go back and watch some of the other ones um they're all labeled and titled and you'll know what you're watching before you watch them there's no for the most part there's no clickbait <laughs> um if you like what you're seeing folks and you're in the market for a model 3 and you find any of this beneficial to you or you know someone it doesn't even have to be you because you may be watching this because like majority of people you have a model 3 or a model s or x or you're already a tesla owner but if you know someone that's getting one uh let them know about my referral code folks you got to get in soon because i think it's ending uh, early next month in december uh, as of today's date when i'm filming this and they can get six months free supercharging on any car that they get any kind of tesla not any car, but any kind of Tesla. So give them the referral code or use the referral code yourself, folks. That'll give you uh, six free months. If, you know, it'll give back to me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But you will be the person getting the most benefit out of this, folks. So I'm not getting a Roadster. I don't have as many. You can check. I'll put my referral code right here. You'll see how many referrals I have. I have, let me think. I've got, uh, um, I have zero referrals. So all I want to do, folks, is go to the Model Y reveal. And so all I want is a measly, what is it, five? Five referrals. And um, I'm, a, I'm a modest guy. I hate asking for things, folks. So that's why I, I've only now started uh, mentioning the referral codes and everything. Before that, I just, I don't know. I just, I'm not a type of person to ask for things. If I want it, I'll go get it myself. But the referral code is coming to an end. And I've come to the realization that it is beneficial to you guys as much as it is to me. So why not help you guys out and help me out in, in, the, 
in the same vein type of things. So use my referral code if you can, folks, or if you want to. And um, until then, thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one. Take care.